You know, sometimes all it takes is just a little chicken hug. Can I have a hug? Oh, thank you. How's it going, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It is so good to be back. I'm already feeling amazing after just the difference a day can make, let me tell you. But I'm happy, I'm smiling, it's a beautiful day. I got an hour and a half run to do later, so let's enjoy the day. It's great to see you again, and let's get going. So an hour and a half run today, it is a beautiful day. 85 degrees outside, which is perfect, because I'm pretty sure that's what the temperature is gonna be in Texas. And this run will be about 12 miles, probably the longest one I'll do between now and Texas. And the main set is two by two miles at 620 pace, which is not Ironman marathon pace, but it's just like an open marathon pace. So nothing too crazy today, just uh, getting the legs going. We're feeling good. I got dad with me on the bike again, which is always amazing, but we're feeling good. Beautiful day, so let's get going. Using race nutrition again today, Morton caffeine gels, which is probably what I'll be taking on the run by this point. I'm not gonna go for caffeinated gels on the bike until maybe the very end, but during the run I'll be taking caffeinated gels. And I've only just started using these things, and so far so good. But let's get going. 12 miles, what a day. Ready, Dad? Yep. He's ready. Let's go. Just coming to the end of the four mile warm up now. And my goodness, is it hot out here. I tell you, if Texas is this hot, that is gonna be one very tough marathon. But that's why we're out here now, getting ready for it. We got two by two miles. Let's get it done. Mile one. 16. It is so hot. Mile two, 611. We got a half mile steady now, then we do it again. Mile one, 608. There we go. Mile two, 604. Now we just gotta cool down to 12 miles and we're all done. Whoa, that was a tough one. Just over 13 miles at a 642 average pace. The last long one before Texas. So it's good to get that done, but man, was it hot today. And if I've learned one thing from today, it's that I need to start drinking a heck of a lot more water. I already drink a lot of water throughout the day, but clearly not enough because I was very dehydrated and that heat got to me. But uh, that was a good one, a good run, and a good day. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> 11 and a half. We've got mom, dad, and myself all at our computers. The Alpha Fly 3 comes out in just a few minutes, and I'm hoping to wear those for Iron Man Texas. So we're all going to be trying. I need a size 11 and a half. So fingers crossed that we can get them, because I really want to wear those shoes. Ah! You got them? Yay! Oh God, let's hope we don't all get them. Well, that doesn't matter. Oh, mine says the same. Yes! Okay, yeah, we got a pair! <laughs> Ironman Texas, I'll be running in the Alpha Fly 3. Wow! Love it. <laughs> you know, I, I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. <laughs> the Alpha Fly 3. Shall we? <laughs> what in the heck? Look at that. 
These things are crazy. Now, if I had the option, would I have chosen this color? Probably not. But do I love it? Absolutely. I think it stands out. It makes a statement. Oh, these things are so light. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Wow! Wow! They're so bouncy! <laughs> wow! Oh yeah, we like these. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know if my Alpha Fly 1 ever felt this bouncy. I do have just so many miles on those shoes now, so they're Definitely nowhere near as fast as they were. But these things just like, as soon as you start to lift your foot, like you're going forward. Like they are made to go fast. They feel amazing, super light. I cannot wait to wear these in the race. But these are gonna go back in the box until the day before the race. I'm not gonna wear them. I don't wanna wear them out. I wanna keep them clean, keep them fast. And uh, can't wait to run in them. But those are the Alpha Fly 3. Yeah. <laughs> Hopping on the bike this morning. I got 90 minutes, just pretty much steady. And I'm gonna throw in some high cadence intervals just to get the, the legs flushed out from yesterday, keep the body moving, and then I'll hop off and do a 20 minute run on the treadmill. Again, nothing crazy, just keeping it easy today. And I had to get this one done early today because I have a massage this afternoon. But coach said I should get this workout done before the massage so this afternoon I can just relax, rehydrate myself and take it easy. So that's what we're gonna do. Nice easy bike and run now. And then we get to go enjoy a massage. <laughs> Hi Kaden! So one of the things I've been focusing on on this build to Texas is staying aero as long as possible. The course is so flat, there's a couple turns, a couple very small hills, I'm not even sure if they classify as hills, but you will lose a lot of time if you're up and down out of the aero position a lot. And I'm really confident that I can hold it for four and a half hours with no trouble. But honestly, regardless of how fast or slow my position is, it's super comfortable. And that is definitely the most important thing. But anyway, we're just coming here to the bike now. Legs are feeling so much better. You just gotta finish it off, just a few more minutes. I'm gonna hop off, do a short little run, and then we gotta get ready for a massage. <laughs> so excited. Twenty minutes off the bike, all done. Six fifty-eight pace. Legs are feeling good, and I'm not usually one to do mid-morning workouts. I'd rather wait till the afternoon. Today was different, obviously, because I had to get it done before the massage. But I must say, it does feel good to get things done early, and then have the afternoon to do something else. Okay, let's see here. Where are we supposed to go? Bum, 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 bum. So we've just arrived, and my massage is with Stacy today. You might remember Stacy because she's one of the other masters coaches where I swim. She's a woman of many talents, but I'm super excited for this because I'm very sore. But let's head in and let's go find Stacy. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? Good. Oh, sorry. I stepped on your toe. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Okay, so we found Stacy. And I, uh, I made a little video for Stacy to show her, it's kind of a joke, but to show her where I'm sore. So let's see what she says. <laughs> it's, it's so silly. <laughs> so it's my head, my shoulders, my knees, and my toes. 
Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> Neck, back, hamstring, quad. Hamstring, quad. Glutes and calves and everything else. Please help me, I'm very sore. Very sore. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I got it. So a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of everything. <laughs> the time has arrived. Time for massage. Just gonna relax, enjoy it, and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, Stacy. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye, Ben. Bye. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Safe work going home. Thank you. That's nice. Ah, beautiful. Thank you. Bye, ben. Well, that was a much needed massage. I know I'll be watching, so thank you very much, Stacy. But uh, I'm gonna have some lunch now and then get this video edited so I can get it out tomorrow. But that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was good to see you again. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all and I will see you in the next one.